Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an event on Eventbrite. So if you haven't found your way to the website yet, just go to www.eventbrite.com. When you get to the website, create an account if you haven't. But if you do have an account, just log in. Usually, the login or sign up buttons are here on the right where you have my email now. You would see my email here because I'm already signed up and I'm logged in. So that's it. When you're properly logged in, come to create an event. And it asks you if you want to start from scratch or you want to use AI to create it. Let's start from scratch. Well, you can explore using AI because it will be faster. So here, you would have to answer a few questions. What kind of events do you host? In my case, it is performing visual arts. Let's see. How many events do you plan to organize in the next year? Let's say five to 10 events. On average, how big are your events? Up to 25 people. And then you continue. The page loads and it takes you to the first page of creating the event. So what is the name of your event? Now put here the name of your event. When does it start? Select a date, a relevant date. For usually on Eventbrite, you would need a month in advance to create the events at least so you will see that the dates are set to July for me to choose from so choose the dates choose the start time and the end time if it's going to be had a particular location you put the location here if it's going to be online then you select online events how much do you want to charge for your tickets? If you're not charging anything, then you can select my tickets are free. But if you want a price, then you put the price here. What's the capacity for your events? How many total number of tickets are you selling? You can put a figure here. Then you create events. So we wait for that to be properly created. And it's almost done. Now, after it has been created, you would have this. You can either publish the events right now or you can edit it. You can edit to add a few more things like adding images or video and adding tickets. If you have a meeting link because it's going to be online, you can also edit. So let us edit and see what more information we can put in there. So here, on the left pane, you have four steps that you should take before you can properly create the event. You've added the name, added the location and it was checked, mark those ones. If you have an agenda, you can add them here. If you have a frequently asked question, you can add them here. If that is sorted, then you can go to the online events page. And here you can add additional contents like images, video links. You come here you add the links. You come here, you add the images. Of course, in this sentence here, you'll be asked a question. Who can access this page? Anyone with the link or ticket orders only? If you choose anyone with the link, it means attendees won't need to log in to access the events 
but you can restrict who sees specific live videos or content. And if that's okay by you, you can accept that. If you want to add a Zoom event, you want to add the link for people to use Zoom and you want to live stream it, then you can add your Zoom provider here. We already added tickets. So yes, that was already checked. We mentioned that the tickets will be free. And so yes, it's generated it already. And yes, that's basically it for the events. You can preview it here and see how it looks. The preview gives you the feel of what people will see online when they book your event or when they search for something that has your event as a keyword. So here you have it, the details of the event, name of the event, that's the name I actually put. And here, the person who sees can reserve a spot, can get a ticket. Here's the description, which you can also add in there. And this gives you the feel of both the desktop version and the mobile version. You see iris going to look on mobile yes that's it with a picture that you must have added if you want to make further updates then you can edit event here and that's basically how to create an event on event right just follow the prompts and after creating everything you can go back to edit if you're not sure of what you've done then you can also preview to see how the entire thing looks before you hit the publish button so if you close this preview now and you come back to this page, if you're okay with everything you've done, you can hit the publish button. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and share. And kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.